We at Forestry and Land Scotland are taking peatland action to address climate change and biodiversity loss. We're re-establishing important peatland habitats and species rather than leave previously afforested peatland sites to dry out, erode and further contribute to carbon dioxide emissions. We're putting in measures to restore these sites once the trees have been harvested. Uh, the operation you can see behind me is, is what we call tree shearing. Um, this technique's been developed to allow us to remove trees off bogs uh, and leave the bog in as good a condition as possible for restoration afterwards. Basically what we're trying to do is, is remove as much of the timber as we possibly can, extract it and use it rather than have it fell to waste. Uh, we've got a specially adapted machine there. It's got wide tracks so it can travel on the peat without damaging the peat. Uh, which leaves it in good condition for restoration. And the main part of the job is, is the tree shears on the front. The tree shears are like a big pair of secateurs effectively, and they just cut the trees uh, as low to the ground as possible, just leaving the, a very low stump and the root systems in the ground. When we come to restore the site afterwards, that makes that very easy then for, uh, to flip those stumps and re-wet the bogs. What you can see behind me is the, the last part of the, the timber processing job on the peatland sites. Uh, the machine you're seeing there, the tiger cap, that cut the initial strip of trees through the crop and then the shears have been along and they've thrown trees in from 10 rows either side. So we've got these big wide clear areas you're seeing in front of us. That machine now is processing the trees that the shears threw in. Uh, so he's cutting off the brash and cutting out the, the, the produce, the timber produce, leaving that to one side for the forwarder to pick up. Uh, and then he'll take that out to the roadside. Once we've felled the trees and extracted the timber, we can then carry out the peat and restoration work. Um, you can see from this site, it's been left clear of brash. Uh, there's no timber produce left on it and the stumps are cut right down flush to, to the ground, which makes the restoration process a lot easier. Um, what the machine is doing in the background is an operation called ground smoothing. Uh, basically what he's doing is putting the bucket under the stumps and flipping them over, pushing them back down with the back of the bucket into the furrows. This is breaking up all the plough ridge and furrows which are draining the site uh, and were put in there at the time the site was afforested. Once he's done that, well, you can see the wide tracks on the machine. Once he's done that, it'll track over the ground, which is level it and smooth it, which will help bring the, the water table back up to the surface. It's been exciting to be part of the development of the shears harvesting system, as it has allowed us to improve timber recovery, restore sites quicker, reduce carbon emissions, and help the peatland adapt better to climate change. Whilst restoring these sites back to peatland is clearly the right thing to do, both ecologically and from a climate change perspective, as a forester, it's been frustrating in the past to see timber being cut to waste on these sites as part of the restoration process. With the development of shears harvesting, much of the timber from these sites is now being recovered, helping offset some of the time, effort and money previously invested in growing these crops. The overall objective of peatland restoration is to stabilise the peat, prevent it from eroding and releasing carbon, and raise the water table as close as possible to the surface. This in turn encourages the growth of active peat forming plants, particularly the principal bog building species Phagnum moss. Blocking ditches and ground smoothing raises the water table to the surface of the peatland. Ditch blocking also reduces erosion of peaty soils into watercourses, while the small pools that fall behind the dams create important habitats for wildlife. Healthy peatlands, peatlands with a high water table, are also better able to cope with the effects of wildfires. As the climate warms, we're seeing an increase in wildfires, not just in Scotland, but across the whole of the UK. A high water table can help reduce the severity of drought, reduce the risk of wildfires and slow the spread of fires when they do occur. This wildfire event occurred in 2019 at Galtic Clay Forest in Caithness. It's a good example of where peatland restoration helped prevent the fire spreading, thereby reducing potential damage. Whilst the fire spread quickly across the unrestored site, it had little impact on the adjacent restored peatland. 